And here we're going to have a look at some ceiling plans and put in some ceiling objects. Um, we have a couple of ceiling plans that are in here already. And when you create a new level, it asks you if you want to create a floor plan and a structural plan and a ceiling plan. So it can do that by default. But let's um, just let's I'm going to delete these and make things difficult. So I'm just going to say delete this and delete this. So ceiling plans are now gone. So when we want to make a new uh, ceiling plan, we go up here to view, plan view, reflected ceiling plan. And these are the, the, the levels that currently don't have ceiling plans. If they already have a ceiling plan, it won't show up in the list unless you ch check this off, at which point it'll show it anyway. So it's telling us really none of our levels have ceiling plans. So we're going to pick on top of second, use our control top of main. So two new ceiling plans, edit the type in here. We can have a look. We can also assign a view template, which is really nice. That way we don't have to change our view ranges or any of our settings. It'll all be set inside of that view template. So we can hit OK, but two new ceiling plans. We hit OK and they're going to get created over here. OK, there's top of second, top of main. And they look kind of funny. And I'm noticing that um, I'm not sure why my views are um, adopting a structural discipline. It can be really... Uh, throw you off because it turns off all the architectural walls. So I need to go here and say, set this to be architectural. Double click on here. I don't have to double click actually. All I have to do is click on the properties. Same thing, change the discipline of that view to be uh, the same Then we can see our wall. So these are reflected ceiling plans. So I'm on the top of main reflected ceiling plans. A good idea when you're working on them, close these guys off so you don't get them mixed up. So when we uh, create ceilings, um, the idea is we go to architecture and we say ceiling object here. And we can sketch it by clicking on here and using our pick walls and our pick edges and all of our different geometry tools. Okay, And we can slope it and stuff. We can slope either one. I'm going to hit exit on this. Um, the one I like to, the one that I've really used the most is the automatic ceiling. Uh, so we look at that, we're going to say, okay, what kind of ceiling do we want? You know, we want a 600 by 1200, which is a two by four grid. And we want it at about, I think it's four meters from floor to floor. So let's make this three meters, which is about uh, just under 10 feet. And that is good. And then we hover over here and you can see where it's going to just automatically kind of find those internal points. And so away we go, we can click on here and go around. And let's say we're just gonna have an open truss in the garage, stair, okay, hit escape, escape. Now, if we go in our cross section here, double click, have a look at it, we can see there's our ceiling. And we could throw a dimension on there if we wanted. From here to here is three meters, nine foot 10. Okay. Now let's go up to the ceiling plan of the second floor and do it again. So we say ceiling, going to use exactly the same settings. Off we go. Now, let's see, we just do want to change it to be a 600 by 600. We can do that in there, okay? Once it's in, you can just click on any one of these grid lines and then use your arrow key to nudge it. Or you can also use your align tool and say align to here this. Okay, you can also rotate. You can grab this guy and you can say rotate, you know, by 45 degrees. And it'll put that in there. Okay, and we can stick our lights on there for the electrical stuff. Okay, so uh, ceiling plans, nothing too complicated. If you want to edit it after the fact, you pick the, the edge, use your tab button. Pick on the ceiling, you can change the type over here. You can say edit boundary. Go in and put a boundary in. Okay, if you want to... Um, 
um, create a different section, then you can go into your architecture and um, then you can use your sketch tool instead of automatically detecting walls and then you can trace around. If you want to create some sort of like a valance around there, then you could, um, you know, draw a, an opening inside of there. So you could tab to pick on here. There it is and say edit boundary. And then we could, you know, maybe there's some sort of feature in here. Click on here, hit finish, click out. And then, you know, you can, you've cut a hole in the ceiling. And then you could have a drop down panel of some other form inside of there. Um, and that's about it. Go to our 3D view. Can't really see our ceiling in there, but if we pick on our roof and make it transparent, we can see there's our plenum space between our roof and the top of our ceiling showing through there.